my full draft mixture. Uh, today we are going to learn about the integration of GitHub with Jenkins. Okay, so GitHub is a very popular uh, code repo where developers use to check in the code for the collaboration with their uh, peer developers. Right. So um, as a DevOps engineer, it's very important to understand the integration of uh, this CI/CD platform Jenkins with this uh, uh, GitHub. Right. So today I'm going to show you how you can do this integration to pull the code from a public repo as well as from a private repo and how you can do the authentication to uh, pull the code from the private repositories and how you can do a uh, basic maven build as well. Right. So all these things we are going to uh, cover today. So let me log in first to uh, Jenkins. Okay. So for this uh, demo. Uh, we need a GitHub, so I already have a GitHub account, and uh, uh, this is my account. And I have created some uh, repositories already, like uh, Jenkins. This is a uh, private uh, repo, and uh, here you can see uh, this one is again a, a private repo. So what I'm going to do is let me try to make this as a public. Okay, so for making a uh, repo as public or private, what you have to do is go to that uh, uh, repository, go to settings, okay, then scroll down. Here in the visibility, you can click on change visibility and the change to public. Okay, so uh, now I can use the same uh, account for uh, doing a demo of both the public as well as a private. Okay, so let me go back now. I'm going to repository. Okay, so now you can see I have one uh, public repo as well as one private. Uh, let me go to Jenkins. So I'm going to create a new project, new uh, item. So I'm going to uh, Create a new item with me, uh, GitHub of public. public. Okay, I'm going to create a freestyle application. Okay. So, the one thing very important for uh, doing a GitHub integration is we should make sure the plugins for GitHub is already installed. Okay, so let me show you uh, whether the plugins are installed in my uh, account or Okay, for that, what you do is go to dashboard, click on manage Jenkins. Okay, so during the installation of Jenkins itself, I have installed all those plugins. Uh, so if you want to post it in your account, what you have to do is just go to manage Jenkins, click on plugins, click on install the plugins. Okay, just search with the GitHub. You'll be able to see all the uh, respective uh plugins which is already installed as well as which is required okay so if, if it's not the uh, in your system you just need to put a available plugin and do the installation okay so let me go back i'm going to give a small description but if you say demo okay then this is for GitLab, but actually I'm not going to that. So this is important source code management. So what we're going to do, we are going to use Git. And here we need to provide the repository URL. So how we can get the repository URL is go to this uh, Jenkins public repository. Click on this one. So here you can see I have created a branch called a demo. So I'm going to use this particular demo branch for the uh, for this particular demonstration. Okay. And here you can see I have already chipped in a Maven project to this particular path. So getting the repository URL, just click on this code and copy this HTTP URL. Go here. Okay. And the better details. Okay. So the important thing with a uh, public as well as private repository is public is available to everyone. Okay. So whoever is having uh, a GitHub account, they can view or they can uh, modify the GitHub within the uh, public repository. But if it's a private repository, like those who are having the credentials or those who are added as a collaborator only those those people can view or make any modifications to the code okay so that is a uh, important okay. so here you can see this is a public repository so whoever is having this uh, uh, link they can directly view it or if those who, whoever is having this link can flow on or make any changes but if it is private repo if i'm not adding a particular developer as a collaborator, they cannot view or make any changes. Okay. Or if it is a private report, if I create a token, then only we integrate that video with that. Okay. So I will show you all those details. As it is a private report, it is not asking for any credentials. I don't need to provide any credentials. Also. Okay. And what is the branch here? The branch is a demo. Okay. 
build workspace before we start. I accepted that. Okay, and build step. I'm just going to execute a uh, bash command. That is a maven project. I'm just going to package. Maven create package. Uh, post build. Okay. I'm not going to choose any post build here. This is just a uh, demo exception. Apply okay, and save. Okay, now just do it. Here you can see it is printed. So now what will happen? Like uh, uh, Jenkins will make a connection to GitHub and it will pull the code from uh, the public code of history. Then it will do the AWP package. Okay, so that is what happening here. And now we can see the execution is completed. Let me go to console output. Here you can see the branches specified and just pull the code and inside that just execute maven clean package and at the bottom you can see just execute one uh, test case which is already there and the build is successful okay so this is how you need to execute the uh, uh or how you need to pull the code from the public of the and to the build okay. so now let me go back i will show you how to engage the private okay so this is very important okay CACD perspective okay so most of the projects which we are working with the private open. So for that, I'm going to create a new uh, item. Okay, GitHub private uh, oh, register. Okay. So now I'm going We need to use Jenkins private. Right? So in Jenkins private, I already created a brand called data form. Okay. Previous. If we have a set of computer hosting, I need to open it to one. Now you can see there is an error because previously for the public repo we didn't receive any other thing, but as it is a we need to authenticate it. Otherwise, we will get this particular error. How we can uh, authenticate? For that, we need to create the credentials. Okay. So, I will show you how we can create the credentials. Let me duplicate this tab. Click on your profile. Okay. Click on settings. Just scroll to bottom. Here at the left hand side, you can see developer settings. Click on that. Okay. Now, there are two ways for all the Okay, one is fine grade token and one is uh, token classic. You can use any of this. So, uh, for this demo, maybe uh, let me use the token classic. Click on this. Okay, click on generate new token. And uh, let me give a name. So, let me give it up. Or maybe check this. The expiration you can set and just keeping it like an expiration. So if you're working for a bigger uh, project, you have to keep a particular expiration instead of keeping as an expiration. Okay. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, all these <laughs> permissions. I'm going to give everything. So based on your requirement, you can choose the permissions. Sorry. I'm going to. So why I'm choosing this is because uh, in the coming years we have to uh, do the advanced for videos. So we have to use all these things. Generate a token. Okay. So once it is generated, you have to keep it somewhere. Otherwise, uh, if you refresh this page, this will get uh, get okay. So I'm going to uh, copy this uh, tension that we put here. Okay, there are no credentials. So let me click on that. Click on Jenkins. Okay. So how should be the authentication? It should be a uh, username and with password. So let me choose this one. Okay, so there are other uh, authentication methods available, but here I'm going to use username and password. Okay, so here you need to give the username. What is username? Username is nothing but like uh, uh, what is the user ID for your GitHub account? Okay, so mine is dark then. Password and this patient the internet generator. 
Change here. Okay. Click on add. Okay. Now let me select this credential. See the that is Now we can see that error code. So what we have done? We create a authentication token to access the private level. Okay. And we add those function in the chicken. Okay. So that's it. Now what should be the branches? We demo. So now I don't want to do any triggers. Uh, there should be Maven uh, comments also available. Okay, so in that for uh, uh, the top level Maven target, this one also you can use. Okay. So for my convenience, I'm going to use this data. Package. That's it. Apply. Save. Okay, let me build it. Okay, let's see this build. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, same kind like the, now you have generated a uh, classic token, right? So if you want to generate uh, an another level of uh, we define by grain token, you just need to click here and uh, you need to click on generate new token. Okay, give the token name and uh, select visa owner expiration and what will be the access like a hot or repository or public repository or only to select the repository. Okay, then give the permissions. Okay, select the permissions here. Okay, the remaining steps will be same. So here you can see the execution code completed. You can go to console output. And here you can see using uh, credentials, it has found the details. And uh, the build is successful. Right? So this is how you need to do the authentication and you need to execute. And sometimes, I will give you one more thing. Right? Sometimes when you execute in your local right? and if you already uh, configure the user, it will throw the exceptions if you're trying to pull uh, if you are trying to pull a private repo from an another account, okay. For example, this comes to uh, here my account is drafted. So if I configured an another, sorry, if I configured Drafter as the uh, uh, global user in it, and if I am trying to access another private account, maybe uh, here we can see I have one more account here, what about repo? If I am trying to access another private repo from this particular account, it will throw the error, okay, because uh, it doesn't have any permission to access this particular or the portal open. That's when it is throwing the error. It means like route and don't have any access to uh, access any of the repos from this particular or the portal. So if there is any issues in your execution like that, what you have to do? You just need to validate this, like whether we have already created any uh, credentials like that. If it is the just answer that. Okay? Just execute this line. Then after that, if you try to execute it, you without any issue. I hope uh, you got a clear understanding like what well, things that you need to consider while making integration with GitHub with the Jenkins and how you get to the code from public as well as private repo and what are the different authentication methods and what are the plugins to be installed. Okay, so if you have any doubts related to this topic, please uh, please put it in the comments down. I can help you. So thanks for watching.